जॉन टेलर डिस्टॉर्सन जनरली इन जनरली इन ऑक्टा हेडर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस ऑक्टा हेडर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस दिस टाइप ऑफ जॉन टेलर डिस्टॉर्सन अकर्स बेसिकली ऑल नॉन लेनियर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सच एज कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सच एज मेटल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस और एनी पोलर स्मॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स सो दिस टाइप ऑफ डिस्टॉर्सन तो बेसिकली वी विल फोकस अबाउट ऑक्टा हेडल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस तो इन ऑक्टा हेडल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस कॉम्प्लेक्सेस टू टाइप ऑफ जॉन टेलर डिस्टॉर्सन अकर्स इन वन टाइप एंड टाइप टू इन टाइप वन देयर विल बी इलांगेशन इन एक्जियल बॉन्ड ऑफ ऑक्टा हेडल मॉलिक्यूल अकर्स In type two, there will be an a compression in equatorial bond will occur. So why this John Taylor distortion occurs? Basically, this John Taylor distortion occurs only because of unsymmetrical arrangement of d electrons in orbitals of octahedral. complexes in octahedral complexes complexes two type of bond bond that is axial and equatorial are found in a suitable example suppose that there are six ligand in a general example ml6 octahedral molecule there this type of rearrangement will occur suppose that this l l l l l n all six l are arranged in a particular manner but this axial bond and this equatorial bond will distort from their bond length to get stabilized this bond length the molecule will get distort so this distortion leads for the maximum stability of a particular octahedral complexes generally a d orbital in many any metal complexes when get excited for the bonding purpose with any of ligand suppose this d electronic configuration is ground state configuration is getting excited when a ligand which uh, will approach to a particular metal it will get in excited state here is the scale of energy and this will further dissociate in two degenerate orbital in the lower energy state it will be termed as d2g and in the upper energy state it will be termed as eg basically all eg orbitals are doubly degenerate and all t2g all t2g orbitals are triply degenerate what is the meaning of degenerate it means both have a symmetrical or same energy for each orbital now we know that the d orbital it consists of five different degenerate orbital first is dxy dyz and dxz these three are termed as t2g orbital whereas dz square and dx square minus y square is termed as eg orbital these all are degenerate energetically whereas this t2g orbital is triply degenerate so coming to the back this splitting of eg and t2g orbital there is a energy difference from the very center this very center the energy gap from the very center of this eg orbital in octahedral complexes is valued as plus 6 dq whereas this difference from the very center to the t2g orbital will be around minus 4 dq so this eg orbital it consists of dz square and dx square minus y square 
whereas in t2g orbital it is dxy dyz and dxz these all three orbitals are energetically degenerate whereas dz square and dx square minus y square are doubly degenerate now coming to the distortion a uh, few of electronic configuration are show some of john taylor distortion so again the question is why only few electronic configuration are shows john taylor distortion so again coming on the electronic configuration the john taylor distortion only exhibited by those molecules which have unsymmetrical arrangement of electrons in d orbitals now unsymmetrical arrangement like eg1 eg3 or t2g1 t2g2 t2g4 and t2g5 are express john taylor distortion these electrons these unsymmetrical electrons are responsible for the compression and elongation of axial bond in any octahedral complex for example suppose we have copper h2 6 plus 2 complex this h2o molecule is a weak field ligand so and this copper atom having a plus 2 oxidation state so when this copper copper metal will bind with the h2o molecule the d orbital configuration of this copper this copper atom will get excited and it will again split in t2g and eg orbital so the energy level diagram for this octahedral molecule will be like this it is having a configuration of 4s1 and 3d9 but when it will go to copper plus 2 oxidation state it will be 4s0 and 3d9 here in the ground state it will have a configuration of 4s1 and 3d10 but in copper plus 2 it will be 4s0 and 3d9 means one electron of this s orbital and one electron from this 3d10 uh, electron is removed for getting cu plus 2 ion now we have a d9 system for this metal complex now these nine electron will be in its ground state so it will be symmetrically filled like this nine now it will go to the excited state so the electronic arrangement again will be like the previous and it will be like this but it will split in t2g and eg orbital now this time if we are we are having a weak field ligand it will arrange this these electrons in high spin manner I mean if a molecule is having weak field ligand it will go for high spin arrangement so in the high spin arrangement the filling of electron will be like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 here we can see that t2g orbital is having six electron whereas eg orbital is having only three electron so where is the unsymmetry so here here this t2g6 is a symmetrical arrangement of electrons whereas eg3 is having unsymmetry unsymmetrical arrangement of electrons so this unsymmetrical arrangement will lead for a john taylor distortion due to this unsymmetrical arrangement of this eg orbital the axial bond either will get elongated or will get compressed in a this copper molecule so first we need to know where this electron in eg orbital in eg orbital there is two electron one is dz square and one is dx square minus y square so where this eg unsymmetrical electron is getting we are getting arrangement two electron here 
एंड वन इलेक्ट्रॉन हियर और टू इलेक्ट्रॉन हियर और वन इलेक्ट्रॉन हियर देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटी पॉसिबिलिटी वन एंड दिस वन फॉर पॉसिबिलिटी सेकेंड दिस टू पॉसिबिलिटी विल लीड फॉर द इलांगेशन एंड कॉम्प्रेशन सो इन अ सिंपल डायग्राम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न वेयर द कॉम्प्रेशन एंड वेयर द इलांगेशन विल अकर इन अ पर्टिकुलर ऑक्टाहाइड्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस टू बाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस कंबाइंड एनर्जी डायग्राम सपोज we have this eg orbital and here we have t2g orbital this t2g orbital will get two type of arrangement here this eg orbital will split in dz square and dx square minus y square whereas the other possibility will be dz square and d s square minus y square and if we are taking the example of t2g orbital it will show two type of arrangement dxz and dxy and d dxy and dyz here again two type of possibility will occur dxy dxz and dyz so if a z z in distortion will occur so the dz orbital will be in energetically higher state here is the energy scale for this these orbitals and here is the another energy scale for the second orbital so if dz orbital is having higher energy as compared to dx square minus y square and same way that xz orbital will have a higher energy as compared to dxy and yz so the distortion will occur the distortion will be termed as z in that means this z in means compression of axial bond whereas if the energy of dx square minus y square is higher than the dz square in the same way in t2g orbital the x dxy energy orbital will be in higher as compared to xz and yz so this will lead for the john taylor distortion and it will be elongation of axial bond so if in a particular molecule suppose if we have metal complexes like this a simple general example of octahedral metal complex so jet out and jet in in jet out suppose that a a a a a m a 6 are our molecule here again m a 6 is our octahedral molecule okay suppose that a general example of m a 6 octahedral molecule in a m a 6 octahedral molecule if a elongation is take place that means z axis is getting elongated from their normal bond length so z out will take place that means the dx square minus y square and dxy is having higher energy as compared to their z orbital so z out or elongation in axial bond in axial bond will take place so the axial bond will get elongated whereas in compression of axial bond compression of axial bond this these two axial bond will come closer to the metal ion and these all four equatorial bond will go away from the metal atom so this type of compression will take place in octahedral complexes so what type of basically configuration which will lead for the john taylor distortion so here if we are having unsymmetrical eg orbital like eg1 and eg3 so stronger john taylor distortion will occur but if we are having unsymmetrical t2g orbital then t2g1 t2g2 t2g4 and t2g5 will be responsible for john taylor distortion and due to this arrangement unsymmetrical arrangement of electron we will get a smaller john taylor distortion due to this t2g unsymmetrical orbital 
like T2G1, T2G2, T2G4 and T2G5, we will have a smaller John Taylor distortion. Basically, these unsymmetrical EG orbital will lead for the elongation of axial bond, whereas these unsymmetrical T2G orbital will be responsible for a smaller John Taylor distortion and will lead for the compression compression of axial bond. Along with these unsymmetrical configuration, few of the configuration are also available which will not show any distortion in a molecule in a octahedral molecule like John Taylor distortion will be absent in those molecules which will have a symmetrical arrangement of electrons in d orbital like eg2 eg4 or t2g3 t2g6 these symmetrical arrangement leads for no any john taylor distortion so finally what we are getting okay in the conclusion the john taylor distortion is only observed when the unsymmetrical arrangement will be in t2g or eg orbit but these unsymmetrical arrangement will not lead for the instability of the molecule that means this type of uh, elongation or compression is occurs to get maximum stability of a oct uh, octahedral complex. So here two of the uh, things are available that when the axial bond length of a particular octahedral molecule will get higher than how the molecule will get stabilized. So the ligand which is attached with the octahedral molecule will be responsible for the maximum stability of a particular molecule. So the John Taylor distortion is observed only for getting the higher stability of an octahedral molecule. So, it will lead for the stability, not for the instability of a molecule. So, the John Taylor distortion will be, these John Taylor distortions are also available for a, a simple uh, triatomic or diatomic type of molecule, which you uh, generally see uh, in your lower stream of classes, like H2O molecule, which is having OHH arrangement. It will also, will get distort. For getting this distortion is comes because of uh, availability of the lone pair which is available on the oxygen atom. So these inter-electronic repulsion is responsible for the distortion of this molecule. So not only in the octahedral metal complexes, normal diatomic or triatomic molecules are also having this type of distortion. So these all are all the things for the John Taylor distortion. So if we are having a different unsymmetrical of d orbital then only the, uh, the john taylor distortion will occur in an octahedral complex